Je sais pas, ça nous semblait un pays où tout était possible encore. Je pense qu'il n'y a pas de pays au monde où on aurait pu faire ce qu'on a fait en deux ans. My impression was that the attitude of the people they seemed to be a lot more positive, have a, a positive outlook on life. I didn't really make the distinction between the US and Canada. It was all just like the West. It was really interesting to come here because it seemed like in the movies, like it was all like whatever they show in the films. During the Cold War, the communists were hating everybody. But they really didn't have too much to say about Canada and that was a very encouraging sign. Before moving here, I had no clue about Canada's brand. I had no clue what Canada was all about. I didn't know any English. I, I, I thought Canada was actually below United States, like geographically, like that's how clueless I was. The first memory we have is the snow. The next day of our arrival, it was mis à fortement neiger, and I me souviens très bien qu'on a pris nos anoraks de ski. Là, on s'est vraiment dit, ça y est, on y est, quoi. <rire> I knew intellectually, I've been told, plan for cold weather, but until you actually experience it, I had no idea. And of course, I wasn't prepared for it, dress-wise, so it just, I just felt cold all the time. <rire> and I still remember that first moment, we landed at Pearson Airport, and guess what? The immigration officers, were smiling. It gave me so much strength that I realized, well, I can probably make it here. Because I wanted to learn English as fast as, as I could, I wanted to stay away from my Korean friends as much as possible, try to fit in with other uh, kids. And at the end, I couldn't really belong to either groups because the Korean kids knew that I was trying to, you know, stay away from them and they were a little bit offended by it and I just couldn't communicate. I think that's kind of changed my personality. Like who I was became very obscure at some point. C'était c'était beaucoup de changements en fait qu'on n'avait pas qu'on avait un peu sous-estimé et je pense que passer l'excitation de la nouveauté euh, on a commencé à se dire en fait euh, c'est un peu notre vie ouais. qu'on met en jeu là. Having a family just tends to make you want to put down roots. I feel very lucky that my family is in Canada and that this is a peaceful country. I'm the first person in my family to move abroad. So I was really scared of feeling out of place, but once I got here, I, that wasn't like that. I never felt like I didn't belong here because I just see so many different people that are from different places. So I never felt like, oh my God, I'm such a stranger in like this Western country. And Canada's brand, I would say, is really diverse. I'm beginning to learn not to give a shit about myself. Myself, I don't really give a shit about how I sound, how I, how how I present myself. I think maybe that's part of being Canadian. Like you don't really have to think about who you are and um, who you uh, who you want to be. Like Canada accepts everybody as who they are. Le Canada a rendu possible le fait qu'on que deux Français arrivent avec cinq valises il y a deux ans et puis euh, et puis puis aujourd'hui on est une petite. Une maison, des, des boulots qu'on aime et une vie qui nous, une vie qui nous épanouit dans un, dans un pays dont on partage les valeurs. Well, it's not easy to share the Canadian experience with people from other countries because A, they may think you are bragging and B, they may even think that it's not possible you know, to be so peaceful or so accommodating. It's not easy to communicate the Canadian experience to people around you. 
but it's important to create inside of you.